from a from an email perspective um so within your email i kind of um email can sometimes be quite difficult to manage um sometimes we get kind of lots of different emails coming through um and i suppose using the example of you know you end up getting forwarded a thread of email so you know there's a load of conversation that's taken place elsewhere and suddenly this massive long email lands in your inbox um, and you end up having to kind of trawl through that you know, read from the bottom and, and actually just trying to figure out what you know what this whole email is about and and what actions that you've got to do off the back of it now again this is only a very small um, email thread of some of, of some conversation that's gone backwards and forwards between me and mark but within Microsoft Outlook now, I can actually ask po Copilot to give me a summary of this email. Um, so it's pulling out here that, you know, kind of the key points again. So, you know, I asked Mark to form me the agenda for the webinar today. Um, I asked him what time the, you know, the webinar started. Um, you know, I, I asked him for kind of the, the, the URL for web pages. So this is all hidden within content between these messages, but it's just pulled out the key points um, of those emails and then you know if I wanted to look at this bit about the lead magnets um, you know they're available in PDF format I can click on the little citation number and it will take me straight to that, that you know that particular email or that part of the conversation thread um, when I'm kind of composing or replying to emails uh, within Copilot so in this example here if I'm going to send a new email to somebody, um, I can draft this, um, you know, email with Copilot itself. So if I click on draft with Copilot, I can say, you know, um, uh, create email to send to all staff. Thanking. Yeah, and um, exciting plans for the year ahead. So I'm just going to give you some very, you know, in this case, you know, very brief um, email. But before I click generate on here, um, I can ask it for some generation options. So I can I can ask Copilot to write this email in a particular tone. So you know, it can be very direct, natural, casual, formal. I could even make it a poem if I wanted to. Um, I can, you know, ask it to, to find length. So you know, I've not really given this much content to work on um, at all. But you know, I can say I want this in kind of medium length, and I want it in a casual tone. So if I now click generate, it's going to put the bare bones of an email together. Again, I've not been very specific um, in this at all hopefully what we'll see is that you know there's a bit of a starter for 10 in terms of putting that email together good message so you know copilot's given me an example here you know you know hello everyone i hope this email finds you well and that you're enjoying the holiday season um again if i'd have been more specific it's not going to you know it, it it will pull out really kind of specific detail um but I've got a, an email um, that, that it will craft and put together. If I don't like this particular email, I can ask it to regenerate and it will create me a new one. And every time it creates um, a new email, it will create a draft of it. So if I wanted to revert back to the previous one, um, I can absolutely do that. So what you can see here is that this is um, the second draft of two drafts that I've created. So I could go back to the first one that it chose or I can go to the second one. So, uh, you know, very quickly and easily starting to kind of compose emails, put things together. Again, this isn't necessarily going to be the finished article, but it means that you've got something to work with that you can then kind of go and tweak. Um, again, not necessarily kind of, you know, the best example of, of, of asking you something to write, but um, really quite useful. Um, you know, off the back of it. So just little things that will, will that will help you save time in terms of kind of putting content together.